Somebody needs you, it's not good unless she needs you. All the way through the good of the years and for all the in between years. Come what may, who knows where the road. Let me love you, it's for sure, I'm going to love you all the way. All the way. I'm gonna love you all the way. All the way. Thanks, son. Thank you. Thank you, son. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to put you on the spot. <laughs> And you weren't even ready. Thank you, thank you. You guys are. Uh huh. Usikumwema. You're, you're not. Atibila <laughs> Maziwa. You're not leaving yet. <laughs> you're, you're, okay. You're not leaving yet. You're not leaving yet. You know that guy who's going to be in the doghouse on Monday? Like it's Friday night and you're like, I don't know what we're doing this Valentine's Day. So let me tell you a secret. Come closer. If you come to Village Market and spend money anywhere in Village Market, like you could literally just, and I'll just make sure you get a receipt for the amount of money. I'm not going to tell you what to buy, but it doesn't have to be a huge amount of money. Bring your receipt to the Trademark Hotel, and with that receipt, you can have spend a night here in this hotel for just 8,000 shillings. Wow. So if you're stuck and you <laughs> don't know what you're doing this <laughs> Valentine's and it's Friday night, you're time bad. I've yeah. given you some <laughs> leakage, okay? <laughs> so I was asking um, how your partner's made you better. You guys, how has your partner made you better? Wilson, let's start with you. Um, I think when I met my wife, I hadn't gone to uh, university yet. I hadn't gotten my undergrad. So, and it was sort of an ultimatum for how we actually... An ultimatum? Yes, sort of <laughs> before we got Tijana married. Tijana Rudi Shule, <laughs> but she really said this once. <laughs> yes, so... Um, she said, we're not getting married if you haven't gotten your undergrad. So I was like, hmm, for a bit I became a hardhead. I was like, ah, if that's it, then let's forget about it. But then eventually I thought about it and I was like, this is going to make me a better person. It's going to make me a uh, better me. So okay. I actually went to school and I'm very grateful. And I, I keep telling her every time. I'm really, really happy that she actually insisted on that. Oh. So, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> ultimatums work, ladies. Ultimatums <laughs> work. Okay, Waja, how has you. Wilson made you better? Um, Wilson's personality, mm -hmm. he's a very calm, collected kind of person. Whereas I'm very excitable, outgoing, ultimatum giving type of woman. We, we are sisters. <laughs> we are sisters. <laughs> so w there's a way Wilson handles the world and I've learned there's a lot of power in silence. There's a lot of power in controlling yourself. 
So you don't always have to have a big reaction to every situation and sometimes you can just be quiet and things play out in your favor. Mm -hmm. And I've learned that from watching Wilson. And sometimes I'll come home and I'll be like, oh, this happened, that happened. And he'll be like, okay, we could just chill. Okay. We could just do nothing and the situation will improve. And a lot of times it works. Maybe I need to learn that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think you should actually write a book about it because there's a way, even a few weekends ago, there was a cop harassing us on the road and he was just quiet and she left us alone. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Silence. Silence. I don't, like the more somebody aggravates me, the more uh, I right? get. So that sounds just so, so foreign. Rahim, how has Anar made you better? I think I used to be very, a uh, very angry person. Very and what? An Sorry? angry person. Oh. If somebody would try to mock me around, I would not want to just stop. Mm -hmm. It just would be fights only. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, so she taught me how to control my anger. Yeah. Ah. But unfortunately today, she does what I used to do. <laughs> <laughs> just what I was about to say. Just what I was about to say, Anna and Wilson sound the same. No, <laughs> no, no trust like, me. Uh -huh. Trust me, when I go home sometimes, that's just the way uh, one just said that, uh, yeah. you know, quietness or silence solves a lot of problems. Uh -huh. Just, oh, they... they Hey, relax. Okay. Relax. Just relax. Think you walk out on your film. You will be surprised. The way she said. You just somebody shouting at you, looking at that person. Ah. Two minutes. The person will just say, Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> oh nice. Yeah, it is, nice. it is it's actually the biggest tool that you can have is silence. And that was going to be my next question. So we have this segment called Hard Hitting Fact. And um, I'd, like to, I'd like to know from each of you, what is the thing that you think you've done in your marriage that has helped you go the distance? So you, I'll start with you because you're kind of getting to that, like that, the silence thing, taking a breath. Yes. So what's the thing that you would say if a marriage has this, they're on the right track? Okay, a lot of people ask questions like, what did you find in this person? What did you find in that mm. person? No, these are all the questions you need to ask. You need to sit down and focus on one thing. Faith, trust, builds the entire foundation for your family. Okay. When you cannot have faith in your partner, you don't have a future. Mm. Right. You cannot ask a question to your partner, where did you go? Mm. She is a responsible or he's a responsible person they know how much to go and how much not to go. Okay. So when you have the faith and you have the trust, and when you don't have a third party, God bless you. Oh. You have no issues. Because when you start involving other people to solve your issues out, then you are in problems. That's the problem, yeah. okay. You ah. are in deep problem because somebody might not be wanting good for you. Okay, maybe he's got, maybe she's got an eye on, on you, mm -hmm. and he's got an eye on her, mm -hmm. so there the marriage breaks. Okay. Mm. So you must have faith, faith, trust, trust, and no third parties. No third parties. Okay. And Anna, would you agree or you want to add something? No, I agree to that totally, uh -huh. especially when it comes to fights between husband and wife. I, I totally agree that you should never involve anybody else. Try and solve your old issues by yourselves. Put them on the table. Mm -hmm. Let him be calm. Once he's calmed down, and let him know the mistake that he has done and how you felt about it. Oh. Make him feel what you felt when he was angry or maybe okay, he no, did not trust you. Yeah. Go to it. So be vulnerable. Yes. And, just be like, and speak out. Speak out okay. everything that you need. Put it on the table. Do not carry on things. Don't call, carry the cross the next day. Uh -huh. I see yeah. that is a recurring theme between the two of you. You're like, don't carry it, don't, don't carry, carry it. That's how we are soulmates. You, yeah. you guys are nodding as well. Yes. So yes. Yeah. That's how we are soulmates. Oh. And so nobody has ever come between us ah. because we have always been strong in our love. That's so interesting because sometimes it's even your own kids who come between yes. you, right? Yes, and my children never. Ah, never. okay. So what's your thing that you would say, if a marriage has this, I see Thank you. success on the horizon? <laughs> I would say, as Rahim said, faith, faith in God, having that center, that rock that holds okay. you together, that's one key. 
The other key is friendship. Oh, There's okay. all this love, love, yes, it's Valentine's. We love one another. And the way I love Wilson now is not the way I loved him three years ago. It's not the way I loved him ten years ago. Oh. Yeah, it's different. Mm -hmm. And you guys are nodding. So there's yes. a deeper level of love 30 years in. Yes, it is. So there's a lot of time. We've been together for 37 years. 37 wow. years. Oh. Because well, I met her in 1983. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because sometimes marriage can be really hard. Bringing up kids can be really hard. Mm -hmm. You haven't slept for three months. <laughs> yeah. You have bills to pay, you have a business to run, there's this cop. You know, there's all these things happening. But if you have a friend, so <laughs> if you have a friend, then... Are you tearing up? Okay. Yeah. Well, Wilson, would you agree or you want to add something? Uh, yeah, I would totally agree with that. So the thing is, first get married to your friend. Um, as they say, marriage is not for boys, it's for men. <laughs> so um, sometimes it can be really difficult. And if you're not uh, married to your friend, then you stop um, trying to make it work. You stop trying to fix it. And you're like, why should I even bother? But if it's your friend, then you will go that extra mile. You will put in that effort to actually make the marriage work. Uh -huh. Aha. Yes. OK. Thank you so, so much. Uh, the food is finally here, so <laughs> now we can eat. We've been delaying the kitchen, but finally we can eat. And as you start to dig in, I was thinking about Valentine's for actually quite some time now, and I'm not married, I'm still single, but I think one of the things I am looking for, like you're saying, you know, you've all said there's so much we hear about love and romance and all that. I think the key thing, what I would like from a partner, and I think what each of you has said in a different way without using this word, is to be cherished. Yes. I think once you know that somebody carries you like in their heart and like they don't want to harm you, they would work to make sure that they put a smile on your face, to make sure that you feel, it's one thing to be told you're loved, it's another thing to feel loved and to feel cared for and well carried in somebody's heart. So this Valentine's, let's all strive to cherish the people we love, whether they are husbands, wives, even our kids, our parents, friends. Let's cherish one another. And on that note, it is also Anna's birthday on Sunday, on Valentine's Day. <laughs> so Miguel, I'll ask you to sing a song as we wait for some dessert and maybe a little piece of cake just to uh, celebrate Anna. And uh, <laughs> Yes, there's a lot to dig into and enjoy. Thank you so much, Miguel. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, you, thank you so much to each one of you and, of course, to the Trademark Hotel for having us, for feeding us, and um, even our drinks. Thank you, Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Enjoy your Valentine's weekend. Make sure you drop by Trademark yeah. Hotel. Cheers, Cheers and happy Valentine's Day. Happy Mwah. Valentine's. <laughs> Being a fool too long 